Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to the boat gang. All right, we got the 120 Atlas van, this TFL small boat, and the Miss Geico 17. Okay, the Miss Geico 17. I just did a motor upgrade in. Uh, this is a Rocket 2948. 4800 kV 3S motor. We're gonna run it with 2200 milliamp 120C 3S packs, fly color 50. The small bolt, same setup as I had before. Um, a 5800 kV 2S motor with a Dynamite 60. Okay, uh, the 120 Atlas van, we got a Dynamite 30 ESC running it on 2S. We'll possibly throw 3S in it with a Copter X motor so uh, stick around we're gonna have some fun so I think I'm gonna start off with the uh, with the 120 Atlas and uh, then the small bolt and then the Miss Geico last because uh, that's a new setup new motor I don't know how it's gonna run so let's get this bad boy here taped up all right go get a little bill so I actually have the wind coming out of a couple different directions, so I'm gonna have to be really careful. It's mainly coming from that direction, so um, we'll go easy on the back stretch and then kind of give it the beans on the front stretch here. Oh, 2S, 2S is pretty good. All right, let me turn my steering right up a little bit here. There we go. Oh, it's pretty good on 2S. This was the recommended battery for this boat, 2S, you know. Fun little boat. It was actually a pretty easy kit to build. I actually have a full build series if you guys are interested. And uh, in the playlist, um, Dr. Jet has a couple short kits available. What I mean by short kit, he has the stringers, the bulkheads cut, the motor mount, transmit and all that good stuff all you have to really do is uh frame up the boat and then skin it with some balsa you know it's actually a pretty pretty simple simple kit to put together so i think he's going to get those kits cut here in the near future um i'll have a link to dr jet's channel in the description if you're interested it's running good on 2s kind of a sweet spot 3s man she <laughs> she's fast as all get out on 3s you know, but she uh, she likes to blow up off the water on 3S. Little Bill Muncy can, oh, I just, right, in, it, I went into the wind. There's a little gust right now. <laughs> she blew up off the water, which my battery might have got shifted because it's uh, kind of loose in there. It looks like it did get shifted a little bit. Dancing, 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 dancing in the straight, boy. <laughs> All right, all right, that's our battery, I believe. Might actually have some battery left. Um, there was some <clears throat> pine straw on the propeller. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, a little 30 dynamite's pretty good. All you need is a little outrunner motor for it, or I guess the inrunner. There's no water cooling. No water cooling in this boat at all. It's all air cooled. Um, I went with the Dynamite 30 just because it's a little, you know, little, little, little more than what I needed so that the ESC don't heat up with no water cooling, you know. Old, old, uh, what is it, 1970s style hydroplane, I think. Atlas fan. You can make it any, any, any hydroplane uh, theme from that era, you know really kicking myself in the butt for not getting that round nose that I won in the in the micro racer challenge last year I chose the small bolt over the round nose and I'm really kicking myself in the butt for that <laughs> there we go get it little bill oh 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 that little 430 don't draw much current so I get a long run time you know Nothing too aggressive. Little head turner. All right, so let's get the little small bolt out. Coming in hot. Whew. 
Nice run, nice run. Awesome run. Kept it on the water. Oh, nice and cool. Everything's nice and cool with that 1500 milliamp Z pack. All right, so we're actually going to run the same same z pack in the small boat i got the same one in there okay um this boat actually came with a wire drive and uh i kept i kept spinning my wire so i put a 0.98 flex cable okay i'm running no liner in this uh in this flex cable and it seems to be working out pretty good um i got a zero like neutral angle on my strut okay um and my my sump my, my tunnel right here it's level you know i got the height set so it's all level all right um neutral on my turn fin no negative or positive it's perfectly neutral all right i got all my remotes kind of set up <laughs> with the boat here makes it easy for me just using an old stx2 that seems to be perfect for these little boats you know uh, Oh man, I can't remember if I ran this battery forward or aft. I think I'm going to try it forward here. You know, Oxteen 433 blade. And I did a little tune before I left the house. I put just like a half a degree negative angle on it. So it's not the same tune I had last time I had this boat out, which has been quite a while. So let's see how it does here. This is a high KV motor, 5800 KV on 2S. <laughs> wow, she's booking boy all right with the wind here <laughs> i was gonna run this prop on the uh 120 it's actually a pretty good prop on that boat this three blade full trigger Woo! oh no <laughs> hey just throw it out there for me buddy thank you There you go. Thank you, buddy. A little helper. A little squirrely. Got a little prop steer. It's a, kind of an aggressive prop for this setup. Full trigger. 60 amp dynamite. 5800 KV motor. 2S. Yeah, she's wanting to kind of prop steer a little bit. There we go. There we go. I should have put that battery over to the left. I'm wanting to torque over a little bit kind of got the battery on the on the right side so next time I run it up center the battery a little bit more or offset it <laughs> Wow, she's a little handful so this is actually uh oh man I, that miss Geico it's gonna be a handful too this is nothing compared to what miss Geico is gonna do <laughs> Jeez. This boat here, it's a three-point hydroplane, but it doesn't like a turn fin. You know, it, it, does, it turns good without a turn fin. You know what I mean? Uh, one of the few boats I've seen, three points anyway, that, that has a good turn and doesn't flip and do anything odd without a turn fin. Uh, I think it's the way they designed the sponsons. They kind of have a um, some dead rise on both sides of each sponson like some dead rise it's kind of like like cup like uh like i don't know how to explain it. i'll show you in a minute yeah it's got dead rise on the inside and on the outside of each sponson and it kind of just kind of like uh like <laughs> like uh slides around in a turn i guess you really don't hook in a turn it just kind of slides around Oh, uh oh. Okay, so we got it recovered. The recovery boat is not working. I think the ESC is bad. I might have left some water in there with the top on it. Oh, this battery's dead now. All right, well, we'll bring it in. That was actually pretty fun. Pretty fun. Temps are good. Temps are good. Okay. So uh, we're going to run the Miss Geico now.
I know, I know. My tape job looks terrible on this one. But uh, it's probably going to spend some time upside down. So I'm going to try to keep it close to the bank. I have a fly color 50 in this boat with this 29... 48 4800 kV motor uh, this 50 it's not quite enough for this high kV motor okay so I actually propped the boat pretty conservatively so it don't draw a lot of amps just so I could see just get a baseline um, we may actually have to put a larger ESC in here um, I think this motor pulls like 78 amps on the little motor spec chart which uh, is probably gonna pull more than that but this ESC actually has a burst and I, I set my timing kind of low. Um, well, it's a wide wound motor. I got my timing at 10, I think. Yeah, 10. So this is a, a 427 round ear. First time I've run this boat with the new with the new setup. I had to move my motor mount around and everything to fit this motor in there. I'm just filling it out. Let's see what it does here with this little prop. round ear prop so it's uh oh it's taking a second for it to to get going it's cavitating until it, when it catches just call it. <laughs> she's fast she's fast all right so uh let's see so it takes a second for it to catch like i said it's a round ear bouncing It's fast. <laughs> it's fast. So um, let me do a little tune here. Okay, I've also got this drive line offset a little bit to help reduce with that prop steer. Uh, but I really don't need that with a smaller, smaller prop. So I'm going to straighten it up a little bit here. I actually put a little bit of positive angle on it that's up angle for those of you who don't know okay so i got a little bit of positive now kind of settle the back a little bit so it don't bounce let's see what that does yep there it went that was it a little bit of positive scooting boy Oh, let me turn this dual rate down on the steering. Scooting, boy. So I don't, I'm not getting any power cuts. So that ESC, it, it might actually be up to the task, you know? It might be up to the task. I'm running a water cooling coil on here. little bounce might need to move my CG around <laughs> it's just skipping on top of the water almost like a little rigger man <laughs> just a scooting boy That's pretty quick though. She's bouncing, but she ain't flipping or nothing. I think I need to move my CG back, you guys. Yeah, let's let's see if I can shake it back here. All right, I shook my CG back. I think. Let's see what that does. Mm. 
no better. All right, that's our battery. <laughs> oh man, she was just a scooting just as hard as she could, boy. <laughs> just to getting it. All right, so I don't have a temp gun. That's a bummer. I want to feel these temps on everything. Cause it actually seemed seemed like it was doing pretty freaking good there. I mean, you know, motor ESC wise, no power cuts or nothing, you know, out the ordinary. Oh man, it's nice and cool. Heck yeah. Oh man. Man, the ESC's cool. That's good. So I'm running a cooling coil on here because I didn't have any water jackets that would fit in there with the hatch on. I actually um, had, to, I cut my, my, my stuffing tube shorter and I took the motor mount out, grinded all the epoxy off and moved it, I moved it back so I could fit that larger diameter motor. I've been running a 380, you know, 380 size motor and it actually fits in there pretty good. You feel me? I appreciate you guys watching. I just wanted to bring some of my smaller boats out. I had some requests to run the 120 and the Miss Geico 17. So uh, there you go. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.